For episodes 9 and 10 of this Let's Play, there was an audio issue that basically makes the game noise really quiet. This shouldn't happen again in the future, but just for this recording session, my audio settings changed and I didn't pay enough attention to that. So I hope it's still watchable. There's some really good moments in this episode, so I didn't want to just go back and re-record. On to the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Coral version. In the last episode, we started on our trek down Route 5. Uh, didn't make a ton of progress, admittedly. There was just a lot of battling happening. But we did uh, find a new Pokemon, Dana the Eevee. Alright, um... As you can see, she's pretty under-leveled compared to the rest of the team. Nothing I could have done about that. Um, but I did kick Eggie out and gave Dana the lucky egg that they were holding. Uh, if I can find where... Yeah, right up here, Lucky Egg. With that, let's keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Um, I'll keep Dana in the lead. Uh, let's see if there's actually an attacking move that she can learn right now. Maybe Bulldoze. I could believe bull Bulldoze. Oh. Metal Claw. Definitely Fake Out. Definitely Fake Out. I can guarantee, yep. I might as well do, um, Growl, because we already have Charm. That means we're only going to be able to attack turn one, but I think that's fine. The grass on this route is so tall. I'm too scared to walk through it. Well, I heard there's Scyther <laughs> lurking in them, so I'd be scared if I were you. Last, Melanie. Shout out to Melanie. Um, there's someone I worked with named Melanie who was always like, chill. Always, like, I respected her a lot. So lit. Got a crit, fake out, did like no damage. But of course it's fake out, so we get the flinch. I'm gonna charm it twice. Oh my god! Why did that do that? I mean, I guess I'm 10 levels under, but that was a lot of damage. Um, I can stay in for one more. I'm curious if it has Pursuit or something, though. Soccer is kind of overleveled compared to the rest. Um, I'll just switch into Wildred. Okay, thank god. I thought I was about to get Pursuited. I was so scared. I don't think I have anything that resists Dark. Maybe Cottony. I, I don't know, but, um, I think Bite is my best move here. I can try both, actually. Might as well. Oh yeah, Fury Swipes is going to do the damage. Looks like it's doing about five to six damage per, and I'm going to have to switch. Great. Great. Wildred is kind of slacking now. <laughs> kind of slacking. Um, that sucks, though. I mean, what do I even do? What do I even do when my team member like that is just not living up? Makes me cry. Just <laughs> anyway. Teddy Earth was down. Yep, 195 instead of 130. So I think that's like. 30% boost? Something like that. Which is pretty good. You know, definitely take it. And Meryl. Meryl's gone. I, I, I'm I, not even going to switch back into Dana. <sighs> really? Two hits? Meryl's... I give... I, obviously, Azumarill is decently tanky. But... Meryl is surprisingly good at it, too. Bedtime grew to level 18... And she has an Eevee, like we have an Eevee. Now would be an amazing time to switch back. I'll do Thunder Wave, maybe. Ooh, no, she has, yeah, she has Quick Attack. I don't think I'll be able to switch. Be able to switch back, is what I was gonna say. I'm gonna get Quick Attack. Really? Adaptability is really powerful. We just didn't see it in Fake Out, but, I mean, yeah. Not bad. Um, 
I'll give Puff Jay some time. I think, like, his move, yeah, his moves are valid. This. Because it's paralyzed, I think, and honestly, it'll just take time anyway. Um, even though the turns can kind of take time, I still think Puff Jay is really strong. Just because it's able to, um, it's able to keep others down with the Stun Spore and other powders it learns boost itself with growth and even if the moves it has right now aren't that strong it has prankster so it can set up first and it gets a lot of just i don't know that's a lot of stuff it gets a lot of tools i feel like very versatile when puff j evolves i think it'll be very dangerous perfect let's it's gonna be the same damage. It's gonna be the same damage either way. It's just PP. <sighs> Any good movies lately? Oh wait, <laughs> that actually does look like that did more. I don't know. Maybe that's my eyes playing tricks. Okay. But put, put it down in the comments what uh, what movies you've been watching. <laughs> It'll be like tree rings for new releases. Uh, the Eevee fainted, Puff J in bedtime, share the wealth, and Melanie was defeated. I <laughs> What's that supposed to sound like? There could be anything hiding in this tall grass. Come on, I can do this. She is gonna get absolutely demolished. Um, okay. Heal up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Still need to find a way to make Dana level up. Um, I will grind off screen if I have to, but I don't want to. Oh, I already collected that. I forgot. Yep, that was just the tall grass. And then we have a hiker. Thank God. Aha! This weather is perfect for a hike through the woods. It's also perfect for a Pokemon battle. Great. And Hiker Simon wants to battle. Also worked with someone named Simon. These are all just people I've worked with. That's crazy. I need to switch immediately. <laughs> just immediately. Um, I think Fairy Resist fighting. I don't even remember if Cottony is a fairy type or if that's just Whimsicott. Seismic Toss uh, would do 17 damage here, right? Because that's what Seismic Toss does. I don't remember. I don't remember anything. This is where Prankster kicks in. There you go. Prankster is so useful. It's such a good ability. It's crazy how good of an ability it is. <sighs> it gets more Seismic Tosses. I can see the 17 damage. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, it might be 15. It's whatever the it's whatever your level is, not whatever your opponent's level is. So I need to switch. Wildred needs to not let me down. Yeah, it's yeah, it's that. If I had like two more HP, I could tank one more. That's really upsetting. Um, I think it's more specially weak than offensively. I do, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I can't level up Dana if I need to rotate through my entire team just to defeat an enemy. It's, like, what's going on here? What am I doing? Like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> not having a flying type? Is that what it is? Um... If only there was a flying type evolution. Comes a bird. It's like a dog bird, cat bird, whatever Eevee is, bird. Boo. Down goes Machop, a bedtime standing yet again. And it sends out a Teddy Ursa. Great. Thanks, Hiker. Thunder wave! Alrighty. I can 
can tank one more faint attack. Oh. Oh. I thought I was a goner. Thought I was a goner. No pursuit. And here we are. Oh, I'm gone. Dana's gone. Two times and it does that much? I'm f f I just made a brief appearance. Don't mind me, I'll be going right back. Free switch with the paralysis. Thank goodness, one thing going well. Down goes Teddy Ursa. This is why Ivysaur is the best. Not even a loss can get me down. This weather is too perfect to get upset over a loss. Thank you. Oh, please tell me I can heal here. Please tell me. Okay. And you're not a trainer. I've heard there is a place deep in these woods where you can catch a rare Pokemon that can evolve into several different Pokemon. Pretty cool, huh? Would you like to see it? I have it. I didn't even realize. The game will tell you that you can get an Eevee here, and I just I just stumbled upon it. That's cool. That's really cool. Man, I would give anything for a Rage Candy Bar, but I spent all my allowance on Pokeballs. Hey, you want to trade? One Rage Candy Bar for three Pokeballs. I would. But you don't have a Rage Candy Bar either. But that's a cool trade. That's cool that you can do that. Thank goodness this rest stop is here. I'm exhausted. South of here is Sunbeam Island. The Pokemon prof conducts his research on the island. There you go. You still got plenty more road ahead of you. You'd be smart to stop and take a break. Yes. And it does heal you. You heal from the hiker. Thank God. Hiya. Like, you want some refreshments? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I see. You get 800 for three Pokeballs, which ends up not being a deal. I like, I love how this trainer talks. Oh, looks like she accidentally gave you an extra. And now it's a deal. Now it's a deal. That's amazing. Dude, this, this girl. Want it? Like, here you go. Okay, great. Obviously, it's better to just buy, well, actually not for the lemonade, but, um, you know, it can be better to just buy. Oh, and she's blocking the ATM. I need to use it. That. Oh, hi. Are you trying to use the ATM? I thought so. I'll move if you promise to buy me a soda pop. How about it? Okay, then. You better keep your word. <laughs> I can just leave. I could just leave. Okay. So did you bring me a soda pop like you? And we do have one, so I'll give it to her. Yay, you kept your word. You're a good person. Sorry I blocked the ATM earlier. To make up for blocking the ATM, I'll give you a TM. <laughs> the writing in this game is so good. Got TM54. That TM contains False Swipe. No matter what, that move won't KO the opponent. It might not seem very good, but it's useful when catching a wild Pokemon. Which is true. Very true. The girl at the refreshment stall sure is pretty. She's kind of an airhead, though. She accidentally gave me some extra food. Well, that's not a problem. Why, are you, why would you say that? Why do you even mention that? Whoa! We're so high up! Looking down out of the window is making me dizzy. This guy is spinning. There are windows on every side of this room. I can't decide which one to stare out of. You're telling me. My friend says he found a scyther on Route 5, but I just can't find one. Do you have a scyther? Want to trade it for my Heracross? Oh, I would have loved to. I would have loved to. Getting up here is a lot of hard work at my age, but you can't beat the view. Oh, wow. So that's Sunbeam Island. Great. It's just one dollar. One polka dollar. And we can look through the binoculars. Whoa. Whoa. This is beautiful. This is genuinely beautiful. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little house on the island. You can see the smoke coming out and fading away. The clouds. It's night. 
Um, it's not actually that night of nighttime. I just, I don't I have no idea how to switch the clock. It's like 4 p.m. Uh, anyway, I think we should be. Yeah, we're fully healed up. Uh, let me get the pokeballs and then we can head out. Do anything for a rage candy bar, but I still my okay. Hand it over the rage candy bar, and we get three pokeballs. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> Come back if you want to trade more. Oh, I see. You can keep on trading for that. It's not a fair trade, but that's okay. And we're on Route 6. Route 6. North, Route 5, West, Lake Onwa. Okay. Got a lot of options. You're not a trainer. Phew. I made it through the woods. Halfway home. Imagine this was your daily commute. Imagine you're, like, going to, like, whatever school is here. And you have to walk through these just infested grasses. Ugh. Okay. Obviously, we can't surf yet, so we can't meet him on Sunbeam Island. But that'll probably be what we get next. Just so amazing. Okay. The water effect. So cool. <laughs> just me and my eradicate. I walked all the way here, and there isn't even a bridge to the island. I can see it off in the distance. Looks like I have to take a boat. Oh, right, the boat. I forgot about the boat. Okay. I'll walk in. <clears throat> walk in the short grass. And it's a wingle! This would fix the issue of not having a water type and not having... <laughs> hmm. How much damage are you going to do? Do I want a wingle? I don't... I Like, I don't think I do. I honestly don't. I might as well defeat it for the experience. Um, so bedtime can just instantly murder this thing. It will be twitching on the floor. It does learn haze, that is kind of cool. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. Like I said, it's like four. Just kind of the day it is, I don't know. All right, it got paralyzed from being static and then it goes down. Poor thing. But just like that, we got no XP, <laughs> like nothing. Um, oh, I was trying to avoid that. Ah, you're stepping on the flowers. If you're gonna stomp all over the flowers, my Pokemon will stomp all over you. How was I? I'm <laughs> Poke fan Susan wants to battle and sends out a Stantler with Stomp. That was supposed to be me. Okay. It's Intimidate activated. I'm gonna fake out and swap. Great. Wildred, it's your time to shine until I need to swap you out. Stomp is gonna do 20 damage. <laughs> wow. Wow, did I call it. Weasel is kind of not living up. <laughs> kind of not making the most. See, that's way better. That's way better. It still should be stunned. Um... I need to swap through my entire team against these level 14 mons. What's going on? Get staticked. You're staticked. Ugh. It feels like a waste of a turn to even do. That's why. Alright, Sakura. Stantler is just too powerful. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Somehow I knew it would just come down to Sakura taking care of it. God. MVP. Ivysaur just... Ugh. What a good Pokemon. One of the best. How do you... Oh, okay. I was gonna say how do you evade it when you're asleep. Well, my strategy isn't gonna work. I'm just gonna try and poison it twice. Just try to use Sludge twice and hope it doesn't live. Oh, yeah. If that was a crit, I'd be... 
<laughs> I don't know what I would do. Switch into fake out again? <laughs> okay. Stantler faints. Finally level 12. And the whole team gets XP. Susan was defeated. No! My beautiful Pokemon! Just leave. You've done enough. Bye. I'm gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's where my adventure ends. I'm like, okay, well, I stepped on the flowers. I feel bad. What happens if I say no? Your loss. Oh. <laughs> now I feel bad. Okay. I'm gonna step on the flower some more. Oh! No matter what, you have to <laughs> you have to battle. They will not let you dodge it. She's a trainer too, and she's a pretty aggressive looking one by the looks of it. Pick a peck, level 13. I'll pass. I should be able to dodge her by doing hold on. Hold on. Oh! She glitters her- oh my god. She is an aggressive trainer. Okay. If you go north from here, you'll reach Lake Onwa. There's a little town set up on the lakeside. I don't think they have a gym there, though. Okay. Let's... Yeah, let's check it out. Going through to Route 7. A fresh young trainer. How about a battle? Okay, hiker. Ugh. Ugh. Steven? Ugh. Uh, what a good time to have a water type. Is what I'd be saying if I had a water type. Oh, wait. I do. Thank you, Wildred. Wildred just hasn't been shining so much, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't have that. That sucks. Okay. Magnitude 6 did that much damage? Magnitude 6 isn't even an attack. It, it practically heals any other competent Pokemon. Okay. Finally. Oh, not even level 17. Just three Geodude. Just hit me with the Geodude. I need to level up. Clearly. Clearly I need to level up or something. I don't know, what, I don't know what's going on here. And an onyx. <sighs> this guy belongs to the Brock philosophy of Pokemon catching. Okay, held on with Sturdy, probably. No way. No way. There you go. <sighs> That's all it takes. I can see if it's defeated. Amazing! So young, but so strong. Keep that spirit. Okay. Whew! Made it out. That patch. I like the tall grass. Like, that's... I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Lake Onwa. West, Mount Onwa. East, Route 7. North, Route 8. A weird tree blocks the path. Is it... Sleeping? Sudowudo is there... Causing grief. So we're blocked from uh, the north for now, but let's see what we have down here. Unless you have a Pokemon that can travel across the water, you'll have to take a boat. Lake Onwa boat, house one. Inquire inside for a red. Interesting. Okay. I think I want to do that. I think. Check the trash. It's empty. Welcome to the Lake Onwa boat house. Huh? You're supposed to meet someone on Sunbeam Island. Sorry, kid. The boats aren't running to the island today. The Sunbeam Boathouse won't give us the 10 4 to ship out for some reason. Maybe you should call the person you were supposed to meet and let them know. Okay. Okay. Ring ring. Ah, Cory, how are your travels? Well, I have you. Would you like to have your Pokedex progr- Hello? Good, I see you understand how to use Pokeballs. Great. I didn't want that. I wanted information. <laughs> Hello? Ah, oh, Cory, how are your travels? Well, I have- no. 
I was gonna say no, but I can't even say no. Am I am I actually supposed to call them? This is the <laughs> this is the only bit of weirdness I think I've seen in the demo so far, but that's interesting. Um, hello. Okay, I'm gonna say hi again. And check again. Okay. Interesting. Uh, hi, I'm here from the editing room. I have no idea why this weirdness happened the way it did. I looked it up and what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to call Professor Spruce. He'll answer and say that you need to talk to your mom and then you'll see what's about to happen. I think the difference might have been that this is running on version 1.2, but I started the game in version 1.0, and the weirdness just comes from that, would be my guess. If you experience this too, let me know. There might be a version 1.3 of the demo that comes out that fixes this. I wouldn't know, but let's just head back to the Let's Play. Okay, so I tried calling the mom instead, and there is text, so I'm assuming maybe I, maybe I just needed to call the mom. I don't... I don't know. Professor Spruce asked you to visit him on Sunbeam Island? The boats aren't running there today. Hmm, that's weird. Well, I'm sure Captain Strand would be willing to give you a ride. I'll let him know you're coming. Just come on back to Sunset Bay, pay him a visit. Do you know how to get home from where you are? Have the man- Oh! <laughs> Have the man take you and you should be- Should be- at the foot of Mount Onwa. Pass through the mountain and you, E, should come out one, route two, E. From there, you're almost home, E. If you get lost, give me a call. See you soon, honey. And, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh? A ride to the other side of the lake? Sure. I guess that's the least I can do since I can't take you to the island. It's on the house, kid. How about it? Sure. Thanks for riding. Come again. And he just walks away. Alright. Here we are at the other side of Lake Onwa. Um... Okay. That's okay. I think I think that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I have no idea. Acquire inside for a ride. And then you can go back and forth on either side. Um, I... Oh. I love this quiet little town. Can it even be considered a town? You don't even have a gym or Pokemon. Oh, am I... Am I... Where am I? Is this like Onwa still? Am I... I'm, I'm lost. I'm so lost. Okay. There's the Pokemon Center. Alright. I've heard this mountain is pretty dangerous. Got my potions and Pokeballs. I think I'm good to go. Mount Onwa ahead. Um, I don't think we'll be going to Mount Onwa, but that's okay. Like, right now. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the game is really open. I do, I do appreciate that, even though there's a lot of battles. Cory, What are you doing here? You're kidding me. You're actually still training your pathetic Pokemon? Give it a rest! A wimp like you will never get ahead. Last time was a fluke, you know? I'll prove how much better I am than you. If I had known there was going to be a battle, I would have trained harder. Pelucin sends out a Snubble. S still has that Snubble. Level 19. That is very high level compared to me. Okay. Um... I'll try charming it, but I think Dana might go down in one hit to something. Maybe not now, but... Yeah. Okay. I can I can double charm it. Um, I think Snubble's a fairy type? <sighs> I think. Okay. Time for... Oh, and Wildred's still low. What? <laughs> Wildred? <laughs> no! Sitting on the bench. Oh, my bad. Wrong button. I was just leaning my controller on my thing. Um, I got charmed. 
which is okay, because we have Sludge, which was the attack I meant to use in the first place, instead of just leaning my controller on my leg. Okay. Using some Sludge. Yeah. It was a fairy type, and it's gone. At least Dana grew to level 13 and wants to learn Quick Attack. Um... I still think sand attack's pretty powerful, but that looks way better to me. Now Eevee can actually attack and defeat a whole enemy on her own. Quillava. Scary. That's annoying. This is such a bad idea. Flame charge. I should be able to tank that, I think. I think. I think. Hope? I dream? Oh yeah. And it, its speed does rise, but it's put asleep, so I get a free switch at least. Um, Flame Charge is a physical attack, but I don't want to leave Dana in there. I think it's bedtime. I think it's a bedtime moment. Bedtime angle. Uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna go for Thundershock. It'll probably wake up next turn, but I don't want to try and Thunder Wave it and be wrong. Perfect. That means it has to wake up next turn, I think. I think. Yep. Perfectly on time. Oh god, a crit? Okay. I'm still screwed. This didn't unscrew me, because, I mean, Pollution has a third Pokemon. Oh, and it has Quick Attack, too, for extra damage. Okay. Um, I can tank one more Quick Attack. If it Flame Charges, I'm gone. <sighs> it's hard being me. It's really hard being me. God, at least I get a switch. I just lose, because Wildred wasn't at enough HP. That's great. That's awesome. I sh like, I should have healed. I'm not... I'm not mad at the game. I'm mad at myself. One HP?! This one's for all the beans. This one's for all of them. <laughs> it did no damage. It did no damage. It did nothing. I'm gonna have- yeah, I went for obviously like a quick attack there, but... That was a crit! Oh my god. I'm being toyed with. Um, Weasel doesn't have Aqua Jet, so I'm screwed. Yep. Let this one go down. And then I think switch to Wildred. I have to hope that the paralysis keeps it down. Oh, I, Wildred's gone. Yep. Nothing I could have done. Genuinely nothing I could have done. Um, fake out quick attack? Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh my god. That's so much XP. Okay. Scyther. Of course you have a Scyther. Um. Charm. <laughs> Why'd you give it false swipe? That's awesome. Okay. Its attack harshly falls. Do I go for a quick attack, sand attack, or another charm? Maybe. No way it goes for false swipe again, right? Like, no way. Yeah, pursuit.
It's a bug flying. Putting it to sleep might be valuable. Especially if it has agility. But this fight isn't over. Um, especially with that sleep. Especially with that. I think we might be able to pull through. Sludge. Ooh, I'm gonna have to leech seed. I'm I'm gone. Nice try. <gasps> I might be able. Yeah, no. Still in the game. Still in it. Yes, heal so much. And this quick claw. It's it's not gonna miss. It's not gonna hit. <gasps> how did we? How did we pull this match out? That's insane. That's ins actually insane. He's- he, there's nothing he can do. Oh, he wakes up, but yeah, he just keeps on going for pursuit, and the charm just makes that nothing. Oh, <gasps> and it got poisoned? Yeah, if the- yeah. Sakura brought the game back. That was all Sakura. Wants to learn Razor Leaf? You can learn anything. Yeah, 45 power versus 55 with a better crit rate? That's done. Nice. I didn't think we were going to win at all. Pollucin was defeated. Not again. What is going on? This has to be a joke. I know I'm stronger than you. It's, it's these stupid Pokemon. It has to be. They aren't trying hard enough. Well, that's going to change. This won't happen next time, Cory. Now step aside! And he runs away. Woo! 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 Oh my god. In this episode, we went through routes 5, route 6, walked up to Mount On- oh, to Lake Onwa, and took down our rival, despite the odds. It was, it was Sakura and Dana who really brought that match back. Um, wow. Wow. Um, next time, um, I mean, honestly, we have the whole map to explore. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I'm not going to lie. Because, um, yeah, there is still going, uh, yeah, because we're... I have no idea where I can go from here. Um, I'll see you then.